Station two, high house two is the bogey target of the right-hander. The reason for that is the target, it's their insertion point. They hold the gun on my marked gun, in, gun hold and the target pull comes past the barrel at high speed, only a few feet out of the trap house and also at 90 degrees to the barrel. And what it's saying to your back brain is I'm a crosser and I'm a fast crosser. They require lead. So you have excessive gun speed to a decelerating target. And what usually happens is this, pull, and you burst through the target through the excessive gun speed and miss in front. Or your back brain realizes you're in front, puts the brakes on the gun, you stop the gun and miss behind. Your squad members instantly tell you you're behind that. You increase the lead, which increases the, the error. The secret's to move your gun out a little bit further on this bird. Maybe an extra 10 feet, look back for it, pull, and just simply shoot it. And the reason it becomes so simple is the angle has changed from the first acrosser you observe to a quarter and away target that needs little, if any, lead. And so a simple move of your gun out, watch the bird come in and be smoother to the target and that will put high eyes to right for you. Little tip of the feet. If you're a right-handed shooter, a bit like station one, you can go to the back of the slab it will give you an extra three feet at the target, visual at the target. You'll see it sooner and see it slower. Now, as a left-hander, we're going to do the low house. You can see my little lead indicators. I put the gun on the front. I look back to the second, up to the hoop, go down the line to the gun hold, pull, put the lead on, and you can see that it's a simple matter of me just replicating the, the visualization or, or the lead that I've just looked at. I must urge you not to dwell on the lead pictures, but on the early beginner intermediate slippery slope learning curve, you need to understand lead. After a while, you feel the lead. You don't look for it. Two things you need to see in life, the bead and the lead, but you can't look at them. Now the pair is simply two birds, a replication of what I've just done. High house, low house. They're the same targets. I shoot them exactly the same way. Pull. Now, in regard to feet as well, wherever you're shooting the targets, you should always keep your feet the same because you'll get people who'll do this. It'll be high house two, low house two, and now they're going to shoot a pair. There's not enough time to move their feet, and it can often be the cause of misses. So what you do is you set up in what I call a zero 50-50 position, which allows you equal swing on both the birds. Simplify an eye house too. Move your gun out a little bit, make a smoother move to the target, and it's a straightaway, not a crosser. Station three next.